This will be a short demonstration of how to analyze ground reaction force data in BioWare. Your ground reaction force data should display immediately after recording the trial. You can also open previous trials, but if you want to analyze the data at home away from the laboratory, then you can download BioWare for free from the Kistler website. To analyze the graph, we will need to click view and then statistics. This brings up a box of values all of which are calculated between our start and end points. These can either be modified manually, or we can move around the green line for the start or the red line for the end. The values that we are given are all calculated between the two time points, and they include in our X, Y, and Z directions, the minimum and maximum force values, the time at which they occurred, average and standard deviation forces, the slope is the rate of change of force between this start and end time. And then integral is the impulse in that direction between that start and end point. We also have the time difference. So the duration between these two lines. We can also zoom in to make these timings more accurate. If we right click and draw a box going from top left down towards bottom right, it will zoom in and we can then move to get these lines more accurate. For example, if we wanted to look at just the negative impulse in this green anterior posterior direction, we could zoom in and look for the exact moment at which our force trace crossed the zero axis. If we wanted only this first impact peak of the ground reaction force, you could move the end point over here and extract just that peak. If we wanted the initial rate of force development, then perhaps you could put your lines around the start and end of this initial increase in order to get the slope. Once you've got the values that you need up here, um, it's possible to save this box of values by clicking in here, typing in a file name. So let's call that results, and we can then save it that can then be opened in Excel. Likewise, if you want to export all of the raw force data into Excel in order to calculate something manually or to import it into another program, you can do so by simply clicking File, Save As, and then saving as a text file. So we'll call this example data. A box will then pop up and you can select the axes that you wish to export, the force platforms if there's more than one. You can also decide whether or not to save center of pressure data or any other data. After exporting that, that can again be opened in Excel. For more short biomechanics videos, check out the playlist on screen now.